people, 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 care, pass, suck, pass, say what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the Ministry of Health, the Jamaica Tourist Board, the Government of Jamaica, they are under fire and they are under fire because of the unfair advantage that it seems as if businesses, tourist interests in Jamaica has when they are from overseas, international versus that of the regular Jamaican, the average Jamaican, the average Joe, the average Jane. And I am speaking specifically about an incident or an event that was held at Rick's Cafe, we are speaking about in the west of Jamaica, Negril to be specific. And people, you know that that is a world-renowned bar, entertainment facility. However, people, they kept an event, and this event, it is called Mocha Fest. Well, people, I should say, was supposed to be held at Rick's Cafe. However, it was terminated because Rick's Cafe lost its license. It lost that advantage that it had. As one of those entities in Jamaica that is certified, they pass all sorts of disaster risk management act, all sorts of COVID tests. So therefore, they could have business run because of some sort of stipulation granted to them by the Ministry of Health, the Tourism Board. Now, people, this fest was supposed to be held from the 24th of May until the end of May, which is the 30th or the 31st, not 100% sure. However, people, it seems as if the relevant authority, the Minister of Health, the Popo, they got wind of the event and they locked it down right away immediately. It was terminated, the license was terminated from Rick's Cafe. So therefore the event came to a, a screeching halt. It was ended. Now, people, I have spoken about Rick's Cafe on several occasions. And I said that it is strange that the government of Jamaica, more specifically the Popo, they are being strict on the locals, especially persons in the garrison. Any sorts of promoter, we see that they go in with the big bus, the big jeep, and them lock up everybody. 50 people, 60 people, 20 people, 30 people, rete, lele, on a regular basis. However, while this was being going on, since last year, we see that Rick's Cafe, it is keeping business. It is business as usual. And people, the truth and the facts is that while it is a fact that whenever you enter that premises, you get tested and you also have to have on some sort of mask. However, people, it seems as if there is some sort of exemption for the tourists. We are talking about the WHITE people, them, the people them that are not of Jamaican descent. So therefore, even though they might enter with a mask and get their temperature checked, whenever they go inside, they take off the mask. And it is as if we are back in the days pre-2020, before April or before March when this all started. It is business as usual. Now, people, the other day, there was some sort of entertainment boat, party boat that flipped over in the water right in the vicinity of Rick's Cafe in the water there, so. And we saw that that party boat, it was not licensed. It did not have any sorts of authority or authorization or permit to keep any sorts of party. Much even worse, it was not registered, none at all, by the tourist board. Now, people, at this party, which is called Mocha Fest, I am going to play the video and then I am going to give my piece. Now, people, like I said, this event is kept by some big time promoters because it is in several countries in the Caribbean, all over the world. So, therefore, we know that it is big money popping. As it pertains to Rick's Cafe, we know that more than likely Rick is not a Jamaican. Rick is not one of us, and people, I am not saying that he is not a Jamaican citizen. However, I am just saying that he has certain privilege that the regular Jamaican 
the typical Jamaican, the typical business, the typical entity don't have, especially in this big sea time. Now, people, Negril is a place that I've frequent over the last year, before the big sea situation, during the big sea situation. And it is a place that I've always looked forward to go. However, when I go, I make sure that I obey the protocols as it pertains to disaster, risk management, and also social distancing. However, people, the truth and the fact is that not everybody adhere to those protocols. And the truth and the fact is that if you're a Jamaican, they might question you. However, when you have a color that is kind of cooler and kind of lighter, it seems as if you get exempt. It seems as if you have some sort of immunity from any sorts of questioning. So therefore, because they want the money and because they feel as if these persons, they are spending money and they are tourists, they have all sorts of pass and get a hall pass. So people, I say this to say that we see that Rick's Cafe, they've been breaking the rules, laws and regulation for the longest while. And they have the audacity to host an event for a whole week. And they thought that they could pull it off. I am speaking about Rick's Cafe and also the promoters. So people, I say this to say that I don't know if this is some sort of joint partnership. However, the promoter and Rick's Cafe, they both have the audacity to think that in a time like this, when the average Jamaican is basically being locked up, we are talking about fencing of them own house, standing on the yard. And the government of Jamaica and the authority, the relevant authority, the Pope, they are pressing them. We are speaking about the health ministry, Dr. Christopher Tufton and them people. Them. They are pressing the people them, not Jamaica because people, the truth and the fact is that here is a difference with a lot of these tourists, especially the ones that are coming from America. 60% or maybe about 50% of those persons living in America, a hundred and something million people have already gotten their full vaccination. Two vaccination in the case of Johnson and Johnson, the one. However, as it pertains to Jamaica, maybe 10%, if that much, have gotten there. We are speaking about full two dose. So people may just say, whenever these persons come to Jamaica, even if they go to some sort of party, even if they are at some sort of all-inclusive resorts, some price resort, whenever they go on the street and they mingle with the locals. And because they have for them big C, we are talking about vaccination, they are okay. However, they can still spread it. So people may just say, the Jamaicans, they are the ones that are at risk. Jamaicans are the ones that don't have the facilities that in case we get sick, we need some sort of oxygen uh, machine. We cannot get it. However, these people, them come and them party and them spread it. And then them gone back at them yard and they are okay. However, Jamaica is faced with the problem. And Jamaica is a poor country. We are a third world country. So therefore, people, I am speaking about the domino effects. So people, me just as say, look at the double standard. Look at the triple standard as it exists in Jamaica. One set of rules for the locals. One set of rules for the persons that are coming in from overseas. And it seems as if because they are spending money with Rick's Cafe. And obviously, it seems as if Rick's Cafe have the government in their pocket. They have the tourist board in their pocket. And people, what is even worse, it is said that on this flyer, the promotion are on the website of this company that kept this event. We are speaking about more cafes. They also said that they are endorsed by the tourist board, which is a lie because they did not get any sorts of endorsement from the tourist board. However, people, it seems as if the tourist board, the Ministry of Health, Jamaica government, we are speaking about the Ministry of Health, everybody and anybody, they are in the pocket of these people. May I talk about Rick's Cafe and the promoters and also these tourist places in a Negril, in a Ocherius, in a Montego Bay because people, any and everything can go on. However, the poor people in Jamaica, they are suffering. They are living like dogs, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.